All right, well, thank you very much for, for coming. I didn't expect a crowd. Uh, a press conference on statistics, and, and it's good news, and, and really it's, it's like the kiss of death as far as reporting, and so I, I appreciate everybody coming here. Some people I want to introduce before we get started. Um, Mayor Vic Loomis, Council Member Roger Peters, Council Member Kevin Baird, and Council Member Nathan Triplett, and City Manager Ted Staten. And I don't think I'm crawling on a limb if, if I say that, that you gentlemen would be available for press meeting afterward. Um, okay. Um, I'm Tom Weibert. I'm the Chief of Police here at the East Lansing Police Department. And we're here to talk about crime statistics. And every year the East Lansing Police Department publishes a 10-year study on, on crime trends. And this is no exception. This is our part one crime rate over the last 10 years. And you can see it's got a nice slope down, downward and, and a significant drop the last few years. And we took a look at that and said, wow, those are some good numbers, but, but how far back do they go? And so we ended up doing some historical research. And Sergeant Mike Phillips, I got to give him a lot of credit back there in the back row. Um, he ended up, because the, the numbers that we went back to predate computers. And, and the technology that we have today. And he ended up going to the, the state police uh, sieges and, and uh, down in their basement and looking at microfiche of, of uh, documents. And ended up, we went back to 1979 before we found uh, a year with a similar crime rate. And so we're currently at a 28-year low in our part one crime rate, which is um, a huge accomplishment. Um, part one crimes, just to clarify, are murder, criminal sexual conduct, aggravated assault, robbery, burglary, larceny, uh, UDAA, which is um, car thieving, and arson. And so all of the things that, that you would think of as serious crime fall into this category. And so um, our serious crime rate has taken a significant drop. Um, this follows a, a trend. It, that the state of Michigan has been experiencing, but only to a point. Uh, the state of Michigan has been, been dropping also, but in the last two years, their index crimes have actually started to climb back up. And so um, in the time that, that the rest of the state or the average um, has been going up, we've been taking significant drops the last couple of years. And so I'm extremely proud uh, of that, that we're actually opposite the trend for the, the rest of the state. Um, Another thing that we're very proud of is our uh, work with noise violations and noise calls. And these are actually, this is a graph of noise citations. And so officer shows up at a party and uh, the party ends in a ticket. And looking at this graph, you would think, wow, the, the East Lansing Police Department are turning into nice guys. And uh, uh, there's a lot less citations being written than, than before. But what we see, the blue is actually noise calls. And so we're actually going to a lot less parties than in the past. And you can see a, a, a pretty healthy slope downwards over the last decade, and especially in the last five years of our noise calls. And so um, five years ago, we were going to 2,000 noise, noise calls a year. That's been reduced to roughly half, um, 1,098. And that's, that's some huge progress. Progress. It's it's um, people who are upset enough to pick up the phone and call the police about a noise problem, and that's what's been reduced. Um, you can also see that that roughly a third of a time, and it's been pretty consistent throughout the years, a third of a time a noise call will end in a citation, and the other two thirds of the time uh, another solution is found. And so, um, I guess I, I have been hearing from people, uh, especially in the Bailey neighborhood. Uh, that things are getting quieter over there, and uh, I've got a lot of calls after Welcome Week last year. You know, I don't know what you guys did, but but keep doing it because it seems to be working. And it's really it's a good thing to have those types of phone calls and those types of comments confirmed by actual hard police data. Um, with party related citations, um, we're also experiencing a drop. And so noise is going down, and you look what's going on in the last three years with open alcohol in the city, a pretty significant drop, uh, minor in possession citations in the city. Um, malicious destruction of property is another uh, violation or in, uh, th that you could tie into partying. The vast majority of our malicious destruction happens 
in the middle of the night, um, and very likely people who've had a little bit too much to drink and, and uh, wreck something. And you can see that that's all also taking a significant drop. And so um, it, it really makes a lot of sense if, if there are less parties and parties are becoming smaller and less of a problem, then the behavior associated with those parties uh, is also being reduced. Um, the one alcohol-related statistic that is on the rise is drunk driving and drunk driving arrests. Um, and you can see uh, the last four years, actually, we've, we've significantly increased our drunk driving arrests, and that's intentional. Um, this department, for the last three years, has made drunk driving arrests a priority. And uh, first day on the job, that's one of my stated priorities, is increasing drunk driving arrests. Um, that doesn't mean that there are more drunk drivers on the streets of East Lansing just because our arrests are going up. In fact, the opposite is true. Um, we know through the, the latest study that, uh, done by Olin Health Center that 81% of MSU students actually, when they're out partying, find a designated driver as opposed to driving drunk. And um, just uh, from anybody's experience uh, out there, you know the, that there are less drunk drivers than there were a decade ago. It, it, socially, it's extremely unacceptable to drive drunk, and that hasn't always been the case. Um, speed enforcement. Our officers have been uh, using data, looking at problem areas, taking input from the public. Uh, we get continuous calls about problem areas, and we actually assign officers to those areas and uh, have them do speed enforcement. Uh, we also instituted motorcycles. Uh, this will be their third year out on the street. You can see a significant jump in speeding citations and a graph that shows our traffic accidents. And um, by focusing our patrol in areas where there are problems, we've significantly reduced our traffic accidents. And so um, roughly 500 or so less accidents per year, three years in a row. And, you know, what is the value of that? If you stop and think about the dollar value of 500 traffic accidents and the injuries prevented by having 500 less traffic accidents, it's pretty significant. It's, it's, I think it's one of the accomplishments that I'm, I'm proudest of. Um, and, and I feel we've had a, a direct uh, influence on the amount of traffic accidents that we've had. Um, narcotics cases are on the rise. And again, that doesn't mean that there's more drugs in East Lansing than in the past. In fact, I, I would venture to say that there's less. Um, it's that we've been actually out there hunting and looking for narcotics. Um, three years ago, we got involved again with the Tri-County Metro Narcotics Squad after not being involved for longer than a decade. And so for ten, approximately 10 years, we did not do any undercover narcotics work in the city of East Lansing. We started doing that again, and as a result, um, we've in, been able to increase our nar narcotics cases um, significantly, and it's also the fact that Metro is out there working has helped to bring our uniform officers, make them more aware of, of the narcotics that are going through our town, and it, it's helped to increase our cases uh, in that way too. So we're taking a fair amount of drugs off the street that we never would have found otherwise. Some conclusions. East Lansing is the safest that it's been in nearly three decades. And I say that our part one crime is at a 28 year low. Um, I was actually here in 1979. Um, I, I was on the other team then, I was part of the problem. And so, um, and I've, I've changed. <laughs> East Lansing neighborhoods are the quietest that they've been in, in nearly 10 years. And uh, our neighborhoods are becoming more and more livable. And a lot of that has to do not just with, with noise enforcement, but getting neighbors to talk to neighbors. And you think about the Community Relations Coalition and the work that they've done and, and the CRC interns and all of the information and the events that they hold. Um, I can't say whether, whether or not we're actually twice as quiet as we were five years ago because we have half, half as many calls. But um, if there is that level of noise, it's, it's, it's a case of people leaving the police out of it and working, working amongst themselves. And so literally, um, renters talking with owners and, and owners making renters feel welcome has, has reduced a lot of the conflict in the neighborhoods. 
And traveling East Lansing streets is significantly safer than it was four years ago, roughly 500 less traffic accidents uh, than what we were having four years ago. Um, and like I said, that's, that's the one that I, I feel absolutely good about. Um, our mission statement, quality, service, protection, and safety. And we are an organization that not only just preaches their mission, we're out there doing it and making East Lansing safer. And um, that's my comments, and I want to open it up for questions.